What is it that Nonsense is up to now? Four days ago, on her Facebook page, Nonsense on the Web 2.0, she wrote the following. I will not be addressing this ridiculousness with him or his couple friends that, since last summer, have been just coming after me nonstop. I've been very transparent with the fact I wanted no contact with any of them, and that stands still to this day. This was from September of last year, but just a couple days ago, he sent comments of others' posts who support me going at them. Just to be clear, I have no past with this group. I don't know them, nor do I want to. I've never been a part of anything with their past with KJ or Uni, but was lumped into that group because I used a voice changer and was Anon for a while. The lies and chaos have not stopped. I've asked respectfully so many times for him to just leave me alone, but that's been ignored. And now he's on a rampage attacking creators who I might get along with. Make it make sense. Thank you to those of you who continue to message me about this, as I know many of you are actually concerned about how aggressive it's been getting recently. And to those of you so concerned but won't address me directly, but keep running to other creators' inboxes or panels to address what's being said about me, I see y'all too. So for those in the back still confused, I would appreciate before you go running on panels to speak on things you don't know, the past of my history with them, please stop, because you look foolish too. I had no history with them besides the assumption I was Katie, and therefore they were determined to take me down. I've never been connected to any of that BS. It's so frustrating to hear people who are caught up in this sauce to even give this life still. I've been ignoring them since last summer, and I will continue. Their issues with Katie and Uni need to be addressed somewhere else as I am not involved in their past. And here, again, is proof that I've been asking nicely to be left alone by them for months. And it's concerning that other women can't understand no contact means no contact. It's gross that I even have to defend myself against a man that has developed issues with me because of his hatred for others and an attempt to group me in with them because I wouldn't bow to their demands or jump on their hate campaign. It's only intensified again because I refuse to back down or be silent. So this mirror campaign continues from them. I don't even know who they're fighting with at this point is I'm not involved in anything with Veda, EKC or Steve. They are attempting to still rewrite history on things in Marvan's story a year later and it's disgusting. They were non-factors then and continue to be now as nothing they've shown proves anything more than how much everyone was lied to by the creators pushing LB's stories all these months. Also, thank you to the creators who continue to show up and stand beside me who can weed through all this insanity. The tactics of trying to destroy my reputation because they can't silence me isn't working. I have never watched a video from him still to this day and have no intention of that. I do not watch BJ or EKC and only get clips of that if people are concerned. I refuse to give attention to things that are meaningless in my life or what I'm doing on YouTube. Let them fight it out with the wall as they had been for months. Their issues with all these others has zero to do with me. Steve, Mc Steve McRae sent you a message. You asked me to contact you. Let's talk. Nonsense replied to this on September 23rd, 2022. Good morning. Hey, just letting you know that if I did ask you to message me, it was probably yesterday when I was in a good mood. As of today, I retract any previous mention of wanting to engage at all. I have absolutely zero interest in messaging with you. Okay, thanks. Bye now. Are you using a Photoshopped picture? Because you don't look anything in your pic here like you do on YouTube. Maybe this is one of the alts they use. <laughs> That was so kind of you to reply that way. So nice of you. Oh, my Lord. Why is he thinking you're a bitch? I can't imagine. Okay, next we have nonsense saying in the comments. Yeah, it's becoming unsettling to say the least. The lies and continued BS in my inbox too is too much. Emails still coming in too and it's annoying. I don't care who's behind what anymore. I'm just sick of it all. Here's one of the new email emails. To which nonsense then says, I mean, there's this. I'm so sick of this BS. 
the weird obsession is becoming very overwhelming for myself and others, sadly, too. Obsession. Obsession is a very interesting word for nonsense to use here. And I like to point out again how there's a picture of Steve McRae's message to her after that he sent after being prompted by her to reach out and contact her, which he did. And now she's saying, this is crazy. Upset. I, he's so obsessed with me. He's in my inbox. He's so obsessed with me. Well, that's funny because he messaged you once. You told him to get lost. He listened. If that's obsession, then what do we call this that I'm about to show here? The next minute and 20 seconds, everything you hear is all from live streams by Nonsense on the Web. Okay, and all of these nonsense are within the last four weeks. Agree with Steve McRae and Steve. Affiliated with Steve at that time, Steve McRae. Obviously, Steve's going to be called Steve and Kate. Steve, E.K. So oh, that's Steve and him of Steve. Steve and Steve and Blessing Steve back in. I don't know who he's talking about. Steve, Steve and Katie and Steve, Steve, E. Steve, I'm sure, like me taking up for Steve in this video. Steve, meanwhile, Steve, Steve, I agree with Steve McRae. It's a mess. How? I'll tell you right now. Your hatred for Steve and Katie has. I can't stand Steve. Steve, he of Steve. Steve and Katie and Steve, the Steve and. No. So Steve and him were, I don't care for Steve. And to. Steve and those guys in Steve's inbox of Steve McRae and message like Steve tried reaching Steve a couple months back and Steve that I don't take anything Steve says end up working with Steve Steve EKC with Steve calling in Steve isn't what Steve nothing to do with this situation Steve's a nobody not Steve and all this stuff about Steve oh yeah Steve he'll take stabs at Steve too at uni and Steve I think Steve EK EKC Steve none of them I now like I said all of those video clips all come from nonsense's live streams from within the past four weeks now who is it that's obsessed here who is it that is inciting instigating could it be nonsense is trying to lure Steve into talking about her so nonsense can then pull a Katie and turn around and play victim and say he won't stop talking about me I just asked to be left alone well that's great if you want to be left alone but let me give you some advice the same advice I gave to Katie about three years ago if you want these people to leave you alone you first have to stop inciting them instigating them and talking shit about them non-stop on the internet the more you do that, the more they are going to respond and engage just as you would, just as any of us would. If you truly wanted to be left alone, if you truly felt like a victim, then you would not want to be a victim and you would stop egging them on. However, I am of the belief that that is not what nonsense wants because this is just yet another manipulation tactic by nonsense that we have seen play out time and again for almost a year now. Let me ask you guys something. Why is it that the people nonsense has had issues with, um, let's see, who was it now? There was Letitia Bias. There was uh, anyone else in, you know, from Marva McRae's birth family. There was uh, Molly Golightly, Justice, Justin for All. There was LB. There was myself, there was Veda, there's Steve. Um, it seems like everyone that nonsense has taken aim at and has taken issue with and has come after are all people that Katie herself has as enemies or who Katie deems as enemies, who Katie has come after, who Katie has tried to frame for actual crimes. Now, I noticed that nonsense has yet to go after any one of the people uh, few people who are friendly and on good terms with Katie. Why is it that nonsense is only here to fight with those that would benefit Katie or who Katie would want to see nonsense fight with? Could it be that nonsense is actually here for Katie and has been all along? My opinion.